and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for you all about fanny packs. So if you're interested in what that is all about, just keep watching. Okay guys, we're gonna talk about fanny packs today. We're going to explore this trend. I'm gonna share with you guys some of my favorites. I'm also gonna offer up a few styling tips and I've got a little bit of plus sizing info for all my plus size divas out there. So without me rambling on, of course I will list everything that I am wearing um, in the description box below. And then everything that I'm talking about guys, I will also um, list those in the description box below. I will offer up some options that I think are fabulous and I'll also give, because you know what I'm going to show you in this video is going to be the designer ones that I have, but I will also offer up some lower price ones. So for people that um, are interested in exploring the trend, you do have some options to shop from, okay? So I just talk a little bit about fanny packs. I know a lot of people are a little bit like hesitant, like no, I don't want to revisit this trend <laughs> because I didn't like it the first time that it came around. Guys, this is not the fanny pack from yesteryears. The fanny pack has been reworked, it has been re redesigned, and it is now a really high fashion silhouette that has been offered to us in the handbag category. It is kind of how we were all a little bit hesitant about backpacks. We thought, oh my God, I don't wanna revisit backpacks. It's now taking on that persona. What I love about the fanny packs is that they're kind of all inclusive. I mean, anybody could wear them. Men, women, children. Designers are giving us all kinds of fabrics, all different kinds of price points, all different kinds of silhouettes. I mean, you can wear them pretty much anywhere. They're not the ones that you're just gonna be wearing to the zoo or to amusement parks. These are gonna be fanny packs that you can wear out to dinner, on a date, you could wear any place you would carry a handbag. They are designing fanny packs to be able to fit into those categories. So when I talk about fanny packs, I don't want you to think of them as some old man with a nylon fanny pack and a big stomach and, you know, socks with, you know, sneakers on at Disney World. That's not what I'm talking about at all. What I'm talking about is a high fashion accessory that can rival any handbag. And that's exactly what I meant, what I said. It can rival any handbag. What fanny packs gives us is true hands-free. Although crossbody bags and backpacks have kind of, you know, touched on it a little bit, but to be ultimately hands-free, it is not required for you to ever take it off and, you know, swing it over to the other side or use it on the shoulder. I mean, it's totally around the waist or the hip, and it, it's a really great styling option. It's not hindering our outfit looks at all. They've designed it in a way that it can actually enhance our outfit looks. And that's what I totally love about it. I love that it comes in suede, you can find them in canvas, you can find them in nylon, you can find them in leather. And I like that. I like them, they, some of them have a lot of hardware on them, some of them don't. So you have a ton of options to choose from. Whatever price point that you choose or whatever design that you choose, just know that there are a lot to choose from. Like What I also love is, like I said previously, this is an additional silhouette that we're adding into our wardrobe. So just like you purchase top handle bags, you purchase shoulder bags, you purchase crossbody bags, you purchase backpacks, now you get a chance to add this silhouette into your wardrobe. And it's gonna do the same thing that those other bags do. It's gonna offer function as well as fashion. So let's get into some of my favorite ones. I'm gonna touch on some ones that I think are great for plus size people. Um, if you are plus size and you want to participate in this trend, I wanna give you some options um, on the designer end that I know will work for you. Okay, so the first one that I wanna go over with you guys is this one, and this is a great pick for a plus size person, whether it be a man or a woman. If it's a plus size woman, I would say that the reason why I think this is a better pick is because one, the strap is very generous, so this one's gonna totally fit up to about a size 18, 20, um, and the fact that it's flat. So if you have a fuller stomach, or if you have an apron, I would suggest for styling tips that you actually use it as if it is a waist belt. So I would say put, put it, place it where the smallest part of your waist is and then you wanna turn it to the side. 
This isn't going to add a lot of bulk. It's not going to add any volume there because this is a real slender fanny pack. This also fits a decent amount. I can fit my card case. I can fit my phone. I can fit my keys. I can fit a compact in here. So don't worry about you not being able, like I said, all of these, the minimum amount that these will fit will be what a Chanel mini fits. So if you can, what you fit in your Chanel mini, you're going to be able to fit in here as a minimum amount. Um, there are some larger ones that I'm going to show you that, of course, are going to be able to hold more. But this is a great pick from Gucci. This is um, probably, this is pretty old. This is, we've had this probably about seven or eight months. We got this last August. So this is a really great, a great piece. This canvas is all weather, so you don't have to worry about um, it getting wet or anything like that. And I love the fact that you're able to even turn it around as a sling bag. I know that my husband sometimes wears it as a shoulder bag. So this is great. You're going to find this. I think it's unisex if you look at the site. But I am going to link it below. Um, and like I said, this is a, a very generous strap. So this is a great one for a plus size person. And this is a decent price point for um, a luxury bag. And to me, this holds... Like I saw the extra mini marmot bags. This holds more than that. This holds a lot more than that. So this is a great, another great pick that I love from Gucci. And this is the one that I'm actually wearing today, guys. And I'm gonna stand up and show you what this one looks like. This is not a very generous strap. This strap is a lot shorter than what this strap is. So I would say if you're larger than a 14, 16, this isn't gonna fit you. Um, this holds a ton though. This one right here holds a lot in it. I would suggest though that if you get this one that you don't put a ton in it because it will like poke out and it you even though it's around your waist you can feel the weight in it. So I usually just you know carry around my essentials in it. I mean I can fit more in it than this one here but it's still um, like I said you still will feel the weight. So let me stand up and show you guys what this one looks like on. Okay guys, so this is what this one looks like on me. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. And I am wearing just black leggings today, a black turtleneck, my son's Adidas sweatshirt jacket, and I am wearing um, the Peyton loafers. So this is my bag for today. I'm kind of sporty chic, but see how it forms to the body? I have it on my lower part of my hip. This would be the smaller part of my waist. I don't like it up there because I don't like that bulk there. I like it down here, but like I said, it's a snug fit on me down there. And if you're bigger than me, then it's definitely not gonna fit down there on you. It'll probably fit up there, but I don't recommend it for styling purposes because like I said, it's gonna protrude from that far from the body. Unless, of course, that's the look you're going for. But if you're not, if you're trying to look snatched in the waist, I think it looks great, you know, hung on the hip right here. Okay, so this is, the next one that I want to talk about. This is the Afadia belt bag, and this is a great option for plus size. What I love about it is that it comes with a belt. So for us, we bought the size 100. Yeah, I think we bought the 100. We usually buy a 95 or a 100, and that fits me on my hip just fine. And my husband is a size 36 waist. So usually in belts, we buy a 30, we buy a 95 or we buy a 100. If I believe this comes up to a 110 or a 105, I will link it below and you can check there. I will tell you though, because it has this belt on the back, you can just slide this out guys and you can put in any damn belt that you want. So that way you can size it to fit you perfectly. So if you need a bigger size belt than what is offered, nobody's really going to see this part anyway. Um, if you style it the right way. So you're able to buy a belt if you wanna wear it further on the hip if you're plus size, or if you're smaller and you wanna wear it up at the smallest part of your waist, you're able to do that. This one I love, I love this cognac suede in it. Um, I love the organization that this one offers. This is a great one when I'm wearing like a little bit dressier clothes. I always put my valet cards in here. Um, they're really easy for me to access. And I also love the fact that this holds a ton. This actually holds a lot without it bulging out just because of the way that it's made. So I'm able to fit, you know, my makeup, I'm able to fit my medicine, I'm able to fit my keys, um, my wallet, like everything I need to fit fits in here. And this is a great one. This is a great style. 
And it's compact, but it's mighty. It's mighty and compact, and it offers a ton of style. I saw this in navy, I saw this in red. It also comes in the traditional Gucci canvas. So this is a really great one, and this is not super expensive. If you compare it to what um, a crossbody small size bag would be, this is kind of reasonable, I think, when it comes to pricing. So like I said, I'm gonna link it all below so you guys will be able to get pricing down there, sizing, dimensions, and everything. Um, of course, you guys can see I'm inserting pictures so you can see what they look like. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen all these looks. Um, I actually wore this one the other day and I posted a picture of it so you will be able to see that. And then a, a while ago, my husband wore it so I will place that up too so that you know that this is unisex. Men and women can both wear it. The next one I want to show you is the Louis Vuitton Bum Bag Eclipse. Now this one is probably... I would say the largest out of all of them. This one holds a ton. This one probably holds the same amount as my Pouchette Matisse. It offers a ton of different ways to wear them. Just like you've seen my husband wear them as sling bags, as backpacks. And this one is also one that he wears as a bum bag. Now this is one that I don't wear as a bum bag because to me it's too big on me and I don't like the added volume of it. Now there's a new one that Louis Vuitton has out and I think that one is beautiful. I don't own it, but I think it's gorgeous. Um, and that's a great one too. I'm a little bit scared of the Vaquetta, <laughs> but um, I still think it's still a beautiful bag. But this one here is the one that actually my husband has from Louis Vuitton and he is crazy about it. He loves like, you know, being able to just carry a ton of things around with him that he needs. Um, and he uses this a lot as a work bag. So this one here is a great bag. The strap is very generous. So a plus size person, I would say up to a size 16, maybe even 18, could probably fit into this one. I don't know if you can still get your hands on this one. I will link it so that you're able to, you know, contact your SA to see if you're able to put your hands on this one. But this one offers a ton of organization um, and you, it's multi-purpose. You could wear it a ton of different ways. So the final one I'm going to share with you, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this one. This is the latest one that I got from Chanel. And I am going to, let me hold up ticket information because this one is current. And well, all of them are current, but this one is one that if you can get your hands on, I would highly, highly recommend it. So there is the ticket information. I will link it from the website below so that you will have that information there. But this one here is, this one's my pride and joy. I wanted a dressier one and I was looking at the Henry Bindel one and my husband didn't like the Henry Bindel. He um, felt like it was a little too girly for him. So because like I said, we share a lot of things, we decided that this would be the one that I would add. And I am crazy about this one. This is in a glazed shiny calfskin leather. And this is in that Chanel traditional quilting, classic quilting. And it has all of the elements that make up a really chic Chanel bag. It's just that they put it in fanny pack form. I mean, the zipper pull has the Chanel hanging off of it. And it's gorgeous. This one runs, um, I would say, if you are larger than a size 14, I don't think that this one's gonna fit over the hip. If you are a 16, it'll probably fit over the waist and not the hip. I like to wear it as a hip bag. I don't like to wear it up high. Um, I like the fact that it's flat and then it molds against the body. This one offers a ton of organization space. I mean, there's a pocket there. I like this pocket here because I can put my ID and my cash really close to me. In the front pocket, I always use it as a valet slip. And then in the inside pocket, I can fill it up with my wallet and cards and everything else, makeup, my medicine. This is a really, this actually holds more than my Chanel Mini. This holds a lot more. And it's compact, you guys, and I'm hands-free, and I'm still really chic. So I wore this actually with a pair of Manola Blahnik, so I wore it in a dressy way. Um, I wore it again with a black suit. I wore it in a sporty way with sneakers. So this one is one that is going to be able to be styled in a ton of different ways. So this is a great one here. I know it comes in different colors. I saw pink and I saw yellow. I would die to have the navy blue die, die, die. Because I think that would be great come summertime to wear with, you know, my denim and things like that. Um, of course, we got black because we wanted a really classic, beautiful, you know, traditional Chanel piece. And I love it. I love how shiny 
that um, leather is. It is kind of reminds you of the leather of my So Black reissue. It's that, you know, well-worn in, shiny kind of leather. Let me get it as close as I possibly can. Let me show you guys the inside, because I'm talking, and I didn't show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Let me see if I can get it. It's pretty hard to see, but there is one slip pocket right there, and that's my authenticity card. And then the uh, number for it is on the side right there. So this is a gorgeous piece. I know they are still selling them. I know a lot of places sold out really, really fast, but if you can get your hands on this, this is a great, great, great piece to add. That is everything that I have for you guys today. I hope that I gave you guys some helpful information um, all about fanny packs. Let me know below which one was your favorite or if you're even interested in participating in this trend. And that's all I have for you guys, and I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.